Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today this is a short update just in regards to what I have been doing and what you will probably notice straight off it is regarding my hair. Now today I fancied a bit of a change. Well, I say today, I had it done today, but I fancied a bit of a change for about the last week, maybe two weeks, and I started to see that there was a bit of a root regrowth, which is starting to get quite dark. Looked really, really cool, I found for a lot of my hairstyles, but I really like that lightness, that silvery, sort of shimmery, sort of blonde tone with the recent highlights which I had. And how time flies, I had those actually back in July, and of course now being in October, I wanted it refreshed up, so I've had my sides and everything done today. I haven't had the length of my hair cut, but what I have had is everything brightened up and freshened up. Now, I've tried to really incorporate some light. I've been trying to have a look on my YouTube channel about trying to incorporate a lot more uh, light. That's exactly what it is, really. So I've got a light box beside me and I've got a light in front of me here, um, but it still isn't capturing how bright blonde I've had my hair refreshed. So I've had the highlights put all the way through my hair. It was a lot of sitting through it, I have to admit. And of course, with some health problems in the backgrounds at the moment, regards my leg and my groin. It was a little bit uncomfortable, I have to admit, but where I go, they are so caring, so sort of considerate in regards to everything, not just how your hair looks, the health of your hair, how you are, how comfortable you are. So I couldn't uh, be more thankful really for the rapport and the relationship I have with the person who cuts my hair and the whole team re really of where I go to the hairdressers. So that's really, really important. So that's my number one thing out of what I've done today is having that great rapport, that great sort of structured, being able to say anything you want and then coming back at you with the advice, the guidance of how your hair would be and the health of your hair as well. Another thing which I had today as well, because of course, blonde is a very high maintenance colour. If you're a man or a woman, you will know if you've had it, it zaps the moisture out of the hair. So what I've had today as well is an Oplex treatment on top of my hair. So apparently inside the colour, um, whilst the bleaching process was happening, it was in there as well. The aftercare and I've had like a leave in sort of serum in my hair as well. So I have to admit the, the feel of my hair and the structure of my hair, the integrity of my hair straight off feels incredible impeccable and literally I would absolutely recommend anybody other than this morning I didn't know what Oplex was at all but it's all about repair it's all about condition and boosting the health the vibrancy and that long livity in brighter blonde hair and do you know what it really has made such a difference and I feel really really good about myself I have to admit when I left today I, I had an appointment at nine o'clock this morning uh, when I had because they done it in foils for me when I had that done um, I had it then left and washed off at about 10 past 10 this morning and then I sat with the treatment on my hair for around about 15 minutes the Oplex treatment and the the toning with I believe Fanola purple shampoo as well so all of that took place and then my hair was left stunningly sleek and smooth I have to admit felt really really amazing and then I had it styled and uh, dried off and, and then I left and I think I left just over two and two hours 15 minutes later so it's a lot to do i have to admit and i always said first of all when i had it that i wouldn't be prepared to go through that again but just having a look so i'm just going to grab hold of my sort of light now which i use for youtube or for my channel rather and you can see just how silvery i'm giving my giving my clue away of what I, light i use but as you can see you can just you can just appear how bright and how silvery and the shine I've got on my hair as well. Now my hair is fine in texture, but I do have a lot of it. So I was really, really cautious to know. Of course, I've had this done two months on and I'm just really, really cautious to know with how light, bearing in mind my hair is really quite dark naturally. So I was really keen to know how am I achieving this colour? So I thought it was a real high lift product in peroxide, but it's actually not, it's a low lift. Um, it's not strong at all. I believe it's a low lift. I thought I seen a 6%. Don't quote me on that, but I th I thought I seen a 6% uh, product bottle. And when it was being made up, I completely forgot to ask. I should have asked. But, um, but I was I was informed that it was a low lift. Um, and of course, I sat with it for about 30, 35 minutes. Then it came off. And the reason being, I think I was ready at around 20 minutes, but I was informed. So it was a really nice silvery sort of iridescent colour um, to just eliminate those yellow tones. Because the last thing you want is sort of those orangey, brassy tones throughout your hair as well, particularly because I had darker hair. But one thing what I would say out of all of this is if you are thinking about the autumn fall season is coming now. The Christmas season will just be around the corner. If you're thinking of trying some different highlights for yourself, if you're thinking of trying something completely different, 
I did. It makes a huge difference. I've gone through, like we all have this year, some really rubbish times, but more so I've gone through things in relation to health. Um, and it's really, really knocked me for six, I have to admit. And having this done just makes me feel a lot more happy, a lot more vibrant. And just because I don't really care what other people think, but if you feel good, you look good yourself, half the battle, isn't it? And you know what? I actually went out this afternoon and I'm actually using crutches at the moment to get about because of how bad my groin is. Have a look on my channel. It's all about high new difficulties and things and the mesh I've got in at the moment. I use one when I go out and about outside and one in around the house. Um, and I went into Boots today, which if you are not from the UK, it's sort of like a pharmacy sort of um, personal product store, which you can buy enough everything in, perfumes, aftershaves, that type of thing. And I was buying, um, believe it or not, I was actually buying some cough mixture. One of my members of my family has got some... Um, uh, problems with quite a quite a heavy cough at the moment. Um, it's not coronavirus, thank goodness, um, but it of course really gets on top of you and it can get you down. So I was going there just to have a look for a few things um, and I said I would pick that up and at the counter, um, sort of at the same age as me, sort of a young lad, um, get that while I got that in there, I still class myself as a young lad, but <laughs> I suppose early 20s, um, and he said to me, you must spend a hell of a lot on your hair, but it looks really good. And you know what? Just the power of giving somebody a compliment like that really is really uplifting. And it just makes you feel, do you know what? There is a lot of good about. We hear all these awful things, but there are still good things happening and people still have a lot of good to give. And I think when you just give somebody a compliment, we don't necessarily anticipate what that can do for somebody and I have to admit I felt here and after that person said that to me I felt up here and I really did go away feeling confident happy um and yeah it's made such an effect I have to admit and I really really felt good about myself I still do um of course when your parents say you look good and your brothers say you look good that's that's great but of course when somebody you don't even know makes the conscious effort of saying something like that to you out of their comfort zone it's incredible and it makes all the difference. So that's just me having a bit of an update here. Um, the Oplex, I have to admit, it might well be something I will cover more in the future, but I believe it extended the price. This, by the way, was £50 today. Um, so I had the hair cut, didn't have the hair cut on the top. I had the sides, which is a zero. And then I think as we gradually faded up, it's about a one here. And then I've got a defined line and then it's arrowed to a point towards the back. And as you can see, I've had the highlights put all throughout my hair. Some are silver, some are slightly more of a warmer blonde tone, as you can see. But the main sort of colour we've got going on here is a real cool, icy blonde tone. And I know I keep holding that light up and it probably looks absolutely so amateur, but I'm not a professional. I'm on my channel just because I absolutely enjoy doing this. I love creating a journey. It's something I use as a tool to keep me lifted out of mood. And it's something I love. I love receiving comments on my YouTube channel. Most of the time they're absolutely fantastic and I try to get back to them as quickly as I can, I have to admit. And I have a lot going on at the moment, but I really do try to reply back as quickly as I can and answer all the questions. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. That means the most to me. It really, really does. And I really enjoy getting those comments. But I love using my channel as sort of like a journey of the good and bad of life. Um, and we all have it. We have lots of good in our life. We have, unfortunately, some bad in our life as well. But I like to cover all things in, on sort of my channel, whether that be hair related products, whether that be a review, whether that be if I've had a new fresh haircut, whether that be if I've had the blonde updated in my hair. And I'm feeling really confident about it for once in my life. Great, then I will shout about it on my channel. I love doing product reviews for fine hair, for thinning hair. I have fine textured hair. I always try to keep as thick as hair as possible. Prevention is better than cure. Love talking about family on my channel talking about career, talking about studying, holidays, you name it, I've covered it. Singing, sounds strange, doesn't it? But I really, really do love to belt some tunes out. And, and yeah, okay, I don't sound amazing at times, but sometimes I don't sound half that bad. But that was my update today, so I can't shout enough about an Oplex treatment. So if you go and get your hair highlighted or coloured or a professional service because you've got dry hair, then I absolutely, ultimately recommend Oplex. It makes the hair, I've only got a little bit of um, free spray in my hair, but it makes the hair feel so sleek, so shiny, and it just has such a nice mirror sort of finish the condition it pumps into the hair is quite incredible after having something as bleaching done to your hair i was quite worried in the back of my mind that having it done again it was it would dry my hair out completely but it hasn't done that at all and it's just amazing and i really really do like the look which i have got and as you can see it's really silvery really quite blonde I had an option today about going really quite blonde and out there and bright and i said let's go bright let's go a little bit more blonde but not crazy and out there and i'm really pleased with the look and the results 
afterwards. Okay, so thanks very much indeed for watching my clip. I hope you've enjoyed that update there. Um, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.